coming up in this Brightline video. In this video, I look at a variety of Brightline trains I've caught in Brevard County since service to Orlando began on September 22nd. Brightline is currently operating 15 round trips between Orlando and Miami. While trains are frequent, they make for a very fast catch and therefore short clips. I'll start this video in Coco and work my way south to Sebastian. We'll start in Coco at the Arch Panel Tunnel, Boxjack Tunnel, and Bird Plaza. First stop is a train heading east on the Orlando line towards Coco. It is currently crossing over Interstate 95 here. And here it is passing through the arch panel tunnel. This tunnel is where the tracks change from the south side of State Road 528 coming from Orlando to the north side. Moving east, and here's bright green crossing over Industry Road and beginning to make the Coco Curve through the Box Jack Tunnel. You may notice a recently installed high rail access pad and flange greaser here. It remains on Brightline owned track until just south of Michigan Avenue when it heads through Cocoa Junction and onto Florida East Coast Railway tracks. This next catch didn't go quite to plan. The Orlando Health Wrap train is making its way through Cocoa Junction here and onto Brightline tracks. Expecting it to be speeding up as it heads towards Orlando, I kept my distance to remain close to the tunnel, but the train had other plans and came to a stop.
This was likely to reset the PTC system, but provided a rare opportunity to catch a train stopped. And here it is, starting back up to Orlando. The track on the left of the train will eventually become the second mainline to Orlando. But for now, just dead ends at the high rail access pad. For the time being, it is only used to occasionally store maintenance of way equipment. It wastes no time getting back up to speed. And now a quick catch from the ground, crossing Michigan Avenue. Next is passing the well-known Coco landmark, that is Bird Plaza. Next up are some catches on Rockledge, Bonaventure, and Vieira. First up is Bright Orange at Gusset Boulevard. Next is another one of the Bright Oranges and Bonaventure. and a bright green at Carver Street in Bonaventure. And at the same location, featuring bright blue in the single car HSS wrap.
Now for a couple of dusk catches, starting at Anson Road with bright blue. And now the wrapped bright blue, making the diverging movement through CP Vieira. Continuing our way south for trains in O'Galley, downtown Melbourne, and Palm Bay. First are two trains at the O'Galley River, starting with bright green. And now the Orlando wrap headed south. Now bright pink in downtown Melbourne. Now at Crane Creek for a quick look at a slow moving bright red due to some crossing work nearby. And now a ground level look at the Just Works wrap crossing. And finally here, bright blue crossing. Now at Hesse Avenue in Palm Bay for bright orange. and the Just Works wrap crossing Turkey Creek. There is a slow order on the following curve, which is why it is slowed down.
Our last stop is at the Sebastian River. First is the new Visit Kissimmee Raft headed north. Next is Bright Green, headed south. And the last train is the Orlando Health Wrap headed north. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.